Alright, welcome everyone. It is finally here. The full Sable game came out for free on Game Pass if you have a subscription. So I released a video before. It was how to get out of the map on the Sable demo. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the first 15 minutes. Alright, new game. Yes. So I don't really remember very much. I know that it's like we were crashed on this desert style planet and we're just kind of surviving like nomad nomads. I guess there's clothing items. I don't think it's a combat based game or anything like that as far as I've seen. Oh no. Do I have audio? Oh, it's getting the desktop audio, but I'm not. Abort. Alright. I'm gonna have to redo that. <laughs> So yeah, that's exactly how the uh, demo started. So majestic. This is a good uh, game to uh, switch off to when you're not really feeling like an intense game, you're just feeling like a chill game. Not using WASD. That's okay. Alright. Yep. Uh, oh, I just keep going up, right? Okay. <clears throat> What? Why did it open? Oh, because of the. You know? And I played this before. Jeez. Ooh, this looks a little different. The color, the color saturation. There is definitely more color saturation than there was in the demo. I feel like. Ah, uh, maybe that's just me. But I just love the art style. It, it really is nice. That guy looked new. Is this different? I can feel Jaddy smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth bearing little grimace behind mine. Okay. I'm nervous and she's softly, sweetly amused in her eyes. I probably have very little to worry about. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? Oh, my name is Sable? Wow, how did I not even... Alright, duh. And yet... Uh, yeah. I told Jotty that I know, but it hasn't quite sunk in yet. She chuckles. I promise you, Sable, you're fine. She knows me. Now we go speak with Halal. I'll be there to see you off. And speak with Dress as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Sizzo, but you know how he is. I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. It has the same... I never even used that in the demo. I, I, don't, I don't remember how to use it. All right. Okay. What's up, dog? Okay. Sable, take this. 
I rub my thumb over it and find it softly electric like a static on cloth. What is this? Oh, Sable, you can't leave without it. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I feel... Connectedness? Then you're doing it right. What you feel is that stone is openness. I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges that hold it there for you to ch channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. You gotta take it to the temple at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Appreciate it. Alright. Got your bike yet, have you? It's a bit a uh, trek to the temple. So, all oh, right. So, yep. Got to go get my bike. Got to get the bike. Yeah. As far as I remember, there's uh, no fall damage either. Pretty chill game. Oh, I can't get on it before I talk to him. Not to race a Hope you guys don't mind if I don't read all this. Not exactly the best reader. Yeah, yeah, my bike, dude. <sighs> of course. I will give it a go. Alright. Don't lose it. This is like, uh... This reminds me of Jet Moto. Whoa, holy crap! Dang. I feel like the smoke is a different color. That's what I had to do, right? Yeah, so I'd imagine that this isn't uh, the longest game, but uh, there's only two gigabyte download. How long could it be? start this over all right trying this again I don't know what happened last time but I pressed the uh, pause button and I couldn't get out of the pause screen all right oh yeah look at that that's so much better I turned the frame rates up should have done that from the beginning oh all right uh, let's see where am I going I'm going to the temple over yonder like shit. So yeah, I guess there's a... I'm assuming there's gonna be like endurance building and stuff. Maybe not. I mean, I, I suppose it could just be like this, but it seems like it has some uh, Breath of the Wild aspects. Well, something like that. Whoa. Mothman. Oh, shit. Huh? Forgot that happened. Yeah, right. This is where I get my uh, floaty orb. The stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Am I afraid? Exhilarated? Feels right, man. I am ready for Rona to know me. I am ready to know myself. 
I feel curiosity in the sacred place. I know I am in her sight. Trippy. Yeah, that's like, I don't know. That reminds me so much of uh, Breath of the Wild right there. But this is new too. This game is actually pretty cool. Not gonna lie, I'm not gonna go overboard and say, oh my god, this game is super amazing. Best game I ever played. Because it's not, but this game is really good and very creative. And shit, I can't complain, I got it for free with Game Pass. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Where did all the color go? Right, I remember not to fall down because I remember being a pain in the AS. But I don't, can I get over there? Yeah. Where it, oh, it's nighttime. That's why there's no color. All right, don't fuck this up. The bike? Oh, it's all the way over there. Oh, I'm afraid to press pause. I need to see what my obje objectives are. Alright, well, there's a kid under here I'm supposed to talk to, so. We'll talk to the crazy kid. some red dye from my bike. That's pretty cool. Show heal all the activated gliding stone. Okay. Alright, so yeah, that was definitely a glitch last time. So I guess this is kind of a weapon. I could throw it at that guy. Yeah, what's up? Umar is a man of a few words, and he's no nothing if not consistent. I'm raiding their town for all their stuff. Alright, this guy is Halal. Hilal. Hilal. Okay. <laughs> uh. All the sentiments. There's just so many sentiments. I cannot keep up with all the sentiments. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Alright, I gotta go see Zizzo. more of your money. Thank you very much. Sup, dog? Suzu is an outclanner to the Abexi, but I've known here for nearly as long as I can recall and think of her more as a kind of distant relation than any sort of outsider. 
Machinists, I'm told, are given their post and by their training and their code must go to where they are needed. But Sizo has been among us so long that it is easy to forget it's an assignment first and foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she is one of us. I think there is a perception among the other clans that the Abexi are quite insul insular, or that our designation of Abexi versus Outclaner suggests some nervous othering of those who are unlike us. But in practice, such things are more the result of our own nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us, and who we must leave behind, but all are welcome to join. And I'm always pleased that Sizo did. Sable, how do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. Bike. Sizo has a throaty quality to her voice, and it rumbles through her mask. Oh, Sizo's a lady. She's quite a ner uh, serious person most days, and I am always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. Sweet. Alright, so, I'm trying to get mental pictures of this. Alright, so, left, right, forward. Alright. Thanks, bruh. What? Oh, right. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. I forgot about that. Alright. Let's get those bike parts, because this thing sucks. Jesus, come on. Where's that little shithead at? I know that little shitheads around here somewhere. Hiding my bike parts. This is so cool, I love that. This is crash spaceship. There's nothing of use to be found in the ship, but I notice a blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. I'm pushing that. The voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording, it's barely audible. Stop messing about those buttons, you absolute idiot. Sorry, Ramen. Concentrate. I don't think I have to remind you how much work it is to get this far. We're almost there. Alright, let's see what old machinist told us holds up. If not, there will be hell to pay. Yes. Yes, I am. A, I just happen to be looking for a calibrator. I'm immediately on guard. Saima has always been a mischief maker and taken tremendous pleasure in tormenting me. In theory, I am older, more experienced, and should be more than able to withstand it. In practice. You won't find it here. I've hidden it, and you'll never find it. Never, never. She never fails to get to me. some beetles so but to get the beetles I have to get I forgot what it is I have to get like some grass or something So there had to have been some kind of uh, major civilization on this planet because they have a huge dam here.
Gotta put the thing in the thing. Give me that shit. There's gotta be a way to get up there. Chum egg. Whoa. Right. Isn't this uh, Studio Ghibli inspired a little bit or something? Maybe I'm imagining that. That's cool. What's this? Got some money. Money, money. I love how I just stand there like that. Like, yep, nothing's happening. Just. Let's see what's over here. I must have. Oh, yeah, the Beatles! Oh, but. Oh, I have to put something out for them, I'm pretty sure. Am I able to grab you? Do I need do I even need those things? Or can I just grab you guys? Ah uh, Nope. It is these things that like. Aha! Beatles? Now you're mine. I don't remember how many I needed. Three, right? Oh, did I just knock it out? I'm gonna grab all the beetles. Ooh. Ooh. I almost passed that up. Man, look at me. I'm getting rich over here. We got 80 monies. Come back, aw. She's sad I'm leaving. Alright, a nice guy. Lady. Is I feel is everybody in this game a girl? I, I don't know if I've picking up on that right or not. No, I'm sure I thought there was someone that was a boy, right? Alright. Final destination. And then I can get a faster bike.
heck is that noise? Whistling at me? Well done, Sable. Yes, this is everything we need. Are you ready to assemble a bike of your own? Uh, yes. Let's go to the workshop. Sizzle relaxes in the workshop. It isn't that she's particularly rigid or anxious ordinarily, but there's a certain calm beauty that one only truly appreciates when Sizzle is in her element. I wonder if it's the way for all machinists. What you must understand, Sable, is that the components you required, they fit together. Not by chance, not by effort, but by nature. They belong to her. They have always belonged to her. All we are doing is assembling her. From what she has already been. I nod and feel a soft buzzing in my ears. Among my clan we believe that machines have names, held for ages like deep secrets, unheard by those unequipped to listen. We will find this one's name together. Interesting. Very interesting concept. Let's right, so put that on, right? <laughs> I'm very excited, obviously, clearly. Nice. Listen. Sizzle tilts her head in a moment, leaning closer to Simon. All at once I know the hoverbike's name, Simon. I say it in a whisper to let Sizzle know. Sai Moon. Sai Moon. Well done, Sable. What sort of name is that? That says what sort of name it is, and if it speaks to any particular clan or culture. If it does, then I do not know it. Perhaps you will find out on your journey. Scissor shrugs, mostly to herself. Or perhaps you won't. But I hardly think it matters. You are bonded all the same. I tell Sai Moon that I am eager to know her better, and Scissor looks quite proudly at the both of us. You are ready, then, for the gliding. May all the gods turn their faces from you, Sable. An odds blessing, perhaps, but Sizzo is prone to such things, and I can read in her tone that it was meant quite sweetly. You must learn to listen to Simon, to care for her. Seek out my fellow machinists on your travel, Sable. They will teach you the art of machine whispering. Oh, and here, take this. It's a machinist badge. You'll meet plenty of my ilk on your gliding. Show them your worth, and they'll give you more badges. I thank Sezo twice for good measure, and give him a bow. I am ready. Nice. Yeah, not not super crazy about the dialogue, but I really do like the overall feel of the game. You jotty? Yep. Sable, the cartographer, landed his balloon while you were away. You should go speak to him. See if you can't get a map. I nod and begin to go, but Jody gestures me back and puts something in my hand. Here's some- Oh, wow. Thanks, Grandma. Jeez, $200. Here's some money to get you going on your journey. Use it most wisely, and then a little unwisely when the mood strikes. You're damn right, Grandma. It's good to know the value of money, but you'd never want to be ruled by it. I think Jody if, if you was effusively and head out on my way who's this Zeke's shoulders sag a little I wonder what she's thinking about something on your mind all right 
Can I have my bike yet? Or do I, have, I guess I have to get the map first. I approach the cartographer. Ah, greetings, child. I saw you looking longingly at my great bloom. Quite a piece of work, isn't she? She really is. I nod enthusiastically. It really is an impressive vessel. However nervous I get imagined being up there all alone. I wonder if anyone's ever fallen off of one. Best not ask right now. Well, good to meet you, and, uh... Oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Jordan. Suppose you've come all this way to see me. It's probably a map you're after, huh? I would love a map. Of course you would. That's 50 cuts. Perfect. Good luck on your gliding sable. I'll still remember mine. Farewell, child. map could there be well, god dang looks like there's got a lot of exploring to do that's cool okay go up here and get this chum egg thank you very much don't know what I use these for but I have them I'm rich with chum trust this situation at all. This is, this is some cult shit, bro. 
Guys, I took your damn mask. Ain't gonna do shit. How do I get out of here? <laughs> Alright. Look at that. Perfect full circle. I think that's absolutely a perfect place to stop for tonight. So I will be back probably within the next couple of days with part two of Sable. So thank you everybody that decided to stop by and I will see you next time.